This is a disclaimer. I am not a professional. Just because I have videos on YouTube, it does not mean I know what I'm doing. I'm a typical idiot that happens to have a decent looking lawn. I would not follow my advice and use these methods on your lawn unless you are extremely desperate or you just want to save some money on overpriced products seen elsewhere. Well, how's everybody doing today? Gonna do a little work to the mower. Going to put on that there striper kit. It's the uh, Big League Longs Checkmate Striper for my zero turn. We gotta jack it up, drill a hole in the frame because I don't appear to have somewhere nice and easy to mount it. My mower's different than most, as anybody that follows me knows. Uh, last year, I attempted to make my own striper, which is right here, this piece of rubber mounted to that unistrut, and it honestly didn't work out well at all. Had that mounted into the hitch, drug it behind the mower, kind of just laid the grass over and it stood right up, didn't have enough weight pushing down on it. So we're going to put the legit thing on there now. And hopefully I can erase my tire marks and lay out some nice stripes. So let's get to putting this on. So as you can see, I don't really have any holes in the frame, any kind of hardware to remove. So I'm gonna drill my own hole right about there. We'll measure it out so it matches the same on both sides. I need to mount it as low as I can because you see underneath there I have a drive shaft and the mounting hardware and whatnot for the striper. I need everything low and at the right angle to where if I hit any kind of a uh, high spot in the yard and the roller pushes up, it doesn't push up into the drive shaft. punch it to try to prevent the bit from wandering. Drill this out with what I refer to as a unibit. Some people call it a step bit or a pyramid bit. It comes with uh, kind of like a universal set of hardware. This is the bolt that we need to put through there. We've got it drilled out just right. So we'll get that and the hardware attached. Comes with a full set of directions here for different mounting styles it shows you pretty much step by step of how to do it you kind of got to figure it out and improvise say it's kind of more of a universal setup so this comes assembled like this there's a set screw right here you have to take that off slide this off 
put your bracket through, put that barrel back on. Uh, we'll leave the washer on, probably don't really need it, but we'll put it on anyways. Only, only the threads go through the frame. And we'll, uh, it's got a locking nylon nut on there. We'll get that tightened up. Definitely an awkward spot to tighten this. But anyways, it gets one here and one here. And we'll pretend this is what's on the mower. It gets sandwiched in between. And that's what connects it to the mower. I think we'll leave it all loose, get the other side in case we want to slide this whole assembly back and forth just a little bit. So here's what I was talking about with clearance. There's not much space there, probably under an inch. So about all you can do is bring this whole assembly back farther, which will change the angle a little bit, but you want this as close to the tires as you can get also. So when you turn, it doesn't tear into the grass. So we'll go, uh, Put it on a little bit of a rough spot or a hill or what and see if it rubs. Okay, it's a few hours later now. Sun's kind of going down, stripes show off pretty good in the right hour of daylight and all that good stuff. 
Um, I didn't divulge at the beginning. Uh, Big League Lawns gave me the striper. I'd been wanting one for quite a while, so I reached out to them and asked them for one, and they sent me one, which I'm very thankful for. But you can tell I've got just a little bit of my tire stripe still showing, but it's definitely better. Uh, they're more defined stripes, darker. Uh, ease of installation went on pretty easy, especially considering my mower is abnormal compared to most. Mine is a uh, front mount, not a mid mount. So mine can't like be behind the machine. It needs to be under it. See that nice line right there? Hose for the sprinkler. Leave that out for a few days and you end up with nice, I don't even know where it's at. It's here somewhere. But you end up with a nice line uh, in the yard. So anyways, install was fairly easy. You can see the results. I'm definitely happy with them. Is it pricey? Yes. Yeah, it's they're not cheap, but you can't get these results without it. Um, this, I bumped my deck up. I'm at about three and a quarter, three and a half, something like that. Uh, we're actually in a severe drought right now. Got a little sprinkler going way over there somewhere. You can maybe hear it. So the yard's looking pretty good considering a severe drought. This back here does not get irrigated and it still looks pretty decent. So look forward to uh, some more striping videos now that I can lay down a little bit better stripes. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.